A serious problem being highlighted by the death of Glee star Corey Monteith, who played Finn on the hit TV show. There's a new generation of heroin users. It was once considered just an urban drug, but now it's in many communities. And while fans are mourning the death of Monteith, CBS 12's Lynn Gordon reports many are wondering if this is a wake-up call. Here at Palm Partners, an addiction treatment facility in Delray Beach, folks who run the place say the number of young people coming in for treatment has doubled just over the past year. And they attribute that to the crackdown on OxyContin. Uh, it was about three years ago when it got really, when it got really bad. I started off in Oxys. Ben Mace never imagined he'd be sticking a needle filled with heroin in his arm. But after the supply of OxyContin dried up, the 28-year-old didn't think twice. It was that day. It was that day that I couldn't get any more OCs. I just went straight to shooting up heroin. Makes part of a new wave of heroin users. Growing up in southern Illinois, he started off with acid, then moved on to prescription drugs. Ten years old, the first time I did acid. You know what I mean? And that was in the 90s. It's got to be worse now. Because oxys are so expensive, and they want all the crackdowns with oxycodone and stuff like that. Uh, that of course, the powers that be, they're... they're flooding the market with heroin everywhere. John Giordano is the founder of G&G &G Holistic Addiction Treatment Program in North Miami. He partners with Palm Partners in Delray Beach. It's, it's a nightmare for parents. I mean, I'm not only a, a recovering addict, I'm a therapist, and I have children that are addicts, so I kind of get it from all sides. Mace moved down to South Florida to go to treatment at G&G. &G. He's now six months clean and says he's lucky to be alive. I'm so lucky to be alive. The things that I've done and the things that have happened to me, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> all my other friends, like I said, they're all dead. Believe it or not, 70% of all of the OxyContin being distributed throughout the United States was coming from right here in South Florida, especially Broward and Palm Beach counties. In Delray Beach, Lynn Gordon, CBS 12 News. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you why heroin is making such a comeback and more importantly, what law enforcement is now doing about it. If you or someone you know needs help with addiction, just head to our website, cbs12.com slash links. There you will find information on the Palm Beach County Substance Awareness Coalition. They can get you the tools you need to overcome addiction.